right now I'm sitting here looking at, look, I got this zebra shot glass. <laughs> oh, hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and it happens to be Emmy week, so of course we're making all these new discoveries, which is great for the gifting suites. This company is by ECBC that makes it a whole lot easier to go through the scanners at TSA because you can just, yes, go through security real quick. But meanwhile, news still continues, and we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you listened to this morning, they said the President of the United States destroyed them in a speech that he made about Republican extremism. But as one of the advisors to the President said that um, it, since he absolutely gave the speech, he did an inappropriate speech attacking a Republican when people were dying uh, less than a mile away from the White House. And they said, well, that they weren't really worried about it hurting his rate, his uh, poll numbers because no one listens to him anymore anyway. I love that. No one listens to him anymore anyway. Mm -hmm. And you're either with Obama or against the country. Oh, that's what he said. What? Yesterday. Or against the country? Against the country. They said that uh, this is why they're very glad that that shooting happened yesterday. So no one ever heard the speech he made because that it's the, the things that he has done for this country to stop to fix what George Bush and the Republicans did, and that uh, and that he has think you know he has grand designs for the future, but extremists in the Republican Party are trying to destroy everything that he's trying to do. And they said it was unbelievable. It was you're either with me. And they said he really was going to get support from the Republican Party after yesterday's thing. They said the only ones that were listening to it were the Democratic leaders and all the Republicans and Democratic leaders. He was, what Herbie Daddy said, one of them said, oh, Christ. Mm -hmm. And when they said, didn't that man understand that it was totally inappropriate yesterday mm -hmm. to do what he did? Well, after they told him that it was a huge mistake and that most of the mainstream press was not going to come to his event last night mm -hmm. on immigration uh, featuring uh, Gloria Estevan and Ricky Martin, he canceled last night's event and would not talk to the press about what he did yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. The UN team finds sarin gas used in Syrian attack. Oh, okay. Herbie Daddy said, I'm not even live, and I knew there was gas used in the attack. Oh, he said, everybody in the world knew there was gas used in the attack. Oh, who didn't know? Uh, there were two that didn't know. They weren't really certain. One of them was Barack Obama, President of the United States, and the other was Kerry, Secretary of State. They had to be certain that gas had been... Uh, Let's see, Doctors Without Borders, who said only 399 people were killed at the gas attack, but there was no proof that the Syrian government did it, uh, I'd already said there was gas used, mm -hmm. folks. And Obama says he will not negotiate with Congress on the debt ceiling. Uh, he, he, he seems to think, okay, Herbie Daddy's got to point out something to Bill O'Reilly and the American press and the President of the United States and the Republican leadership. If you're elected to represent the people of your community, they're not going to turn you down if, Joe, if Barack Obama vetoes the budget that they send him up. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. You're just going to make them, uh, every word that's a red state, they're going to get more entrenched because they're going to say, well, we passed a budget. All we did was, uh, right now, they've got to give the public the same thing that he's giving to the... Uh, to his friends in business and he's getting ready to give to the unions, mm -hmm. but the people, they're not entitled to the same benefits. And sideline France still determined to go after Assad. I know. Well, not much longer because it looks like they're getting ready to throw the new, the president of France out and replace him with somebody that actually listened to the First thing he did was he come in and he, he raised taxes to the point that people were renouncing their citizenship in France. Major motion picture stars and television stars and recording stars left the country immediately when he decided to put taxes on them that made it punitive to work and live in France. It yeah. has to do somewhat to, they said his changes and everything had to do somewhat with cans moving from one time into another time. Not as much as the weather, but the what? fact that they wanted to make certain that people weren't hit by his taxes by being in the country at the wrong moment. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my He's gosh. Socialist. And House Bill would cut four billion a year from food stamps. Well, because since Obama came president, Obama has increased the food stamp thing to increase to basically okay, I uh, years ago I used to be amazed that uh, uh, we're talking uh, a, a woman driving a Congress of the United States automobile would pull up to the place 
and using food stamps to purchase things because this is, and then we found out, well, she's a congressman's wife. Mm -hmm. Using food stamps because they could get them. Obama basically said that anybody, we, we need to help the people hurt by uh, George Bush and Republicans. No, since Obama became president, it, it, we now have um, 90 million people that should be working, not working, because there's no need to work because uh, they said, uh, they did the thing, was one of the, one of the Democratic back to institutes did a thing saying that the people on welfare in most cases are living better than the people that are working. I mean, I used to, okay, here's another funny thing. Um, most people don't remember Lawrence Welk, but Lawrence Welk, when he was on tour, he used to do a thing. He'd have a member of his staff, basically, who could dance like you would not believe, come down out of the audience and just bury, bury all of his dancers with his ability to dance. And then they, uh, Lawrence Welk would offer him a job, and he, well, I can't afford to take a job with you, Mr. Welk. And he said, why? Well, I have to give up my mansion in Brentwood if I do because I'm on welfare. Mm -hmm. That was that's not a joke. They do live in Brentwood. And fears of gun registry pump NRA to back the lawsuit against U.S. surveillance. Yeah, because they're trying to learn. They're also basically a bug. All of the weapon manufacturers in the country and all of the gun shops, so they know NSA knows who's buying what and what's being turned out. Mm. And former Obama chief of staff drops out of the race for Illinois governor. Because they're really getting tired of Democrats in Illinois who have busted the state. Oh, what, it, what was the latest news? The mayor of the city of Chicago, Rod Emanuel, has decided to fix the education problem in the city by building a whole wave of brand new schools and hiring a whole wave of brand new teachers. Only problem is they have to raise taxes to do both. And there's no money in Chicago or Illinois. And rise of British anti-EU party threatens PM's re-election. Yeah, he's going to get his throat. He's going to get his butt thrown out. Well, because um, they're tired of all of the immigrants coming in and taking jobs from people in England, and they're tired of him because he was actually going to he was going to approve of sending British uh, warplanes in to bomb Syria, which the British did not want to do. No, there's no country in the world wants to get involved in a civil war. And Versace's tragic Miami mansion set for auction. Yeah, I mean, basically they're going to sell it for maybe a tenth of what the Versace paid for it in that summer. Real a tenth? And they owned it for years. Yeah, because there's no, um, it had nothing to do with him being killed there. It has to do with the fact that there's no market for these big homes. I can guarantee you there are homes in, in uh, over towards... Um, Brentwood and towards Malibu that are going for a hundred million dollars that have been sitting there. Some of the stars have basically gave up selling their homes because they can't. There's nobody wants them. They don't. They, you can't borrow money to buy them. Well, and some of them, it's just like they're huge and they cost a lot to maintain. Yeah, they don't. They're not making any money. And the government is to de to declassify some secret court op opinions. Uh, yeah, because. They're, they were they're basically these are when they were ordered not to do something, they did it anyway, and they had nothing to do whatsoever with the classifying thing. The court basically got pissed off that they weren't obeying any of the order. I mean, Obama has one court order after another after another against him since he became president, which he has been burying, and the courts didn't know he was burying him. Mm -hmm. They just assumed that he's uh, until somebody files a complaint. Like, here's the big thing on healthcare, folks. If anybody had paid any attention to Herbie Daddy, you would have known. The ruling by the Chief Justice was said, the United States government has the power to raise taxes, and you have no, you have no legal standing about challenging the tax until you have been hurt by the tax. <laughs> that has been the problem. That's right. And Boeing successfully in testing the new longer at 787-9. That's the Dreamliner. They haven't got the Dreamliner. The main one isn't even in action. So now they're getting approval to put the new one up. Mm. They're hoping that people will forget that the first one catches fire. Oh. It's because I, I, I learned to fly by wire. Today's modern airplane is to, fire, uh, is to basically fly by Bluetooth. Uh, and they're, have, they're heavy on batteries. And the oh. one thing they tell you about airplanes is do not take lithium batteries aboard airplanes. All of the batteries are lithium that they're putting in the plane. Wow. They catch fire. Oh, that's why. Yeah. And a Monty bubble is for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. No matter what you may think you can do, there's always a limit to what you can do. <laughs>